Tiger Trades here. Um, we just had a wild day. Jay Powell said, fuck your puts and launch the market. Netflix with a beast, beastly day. Amazon with a beastly day. Tesla with a beastly day. VIX, wild, wild day. Going to do an update on that trade of uh, Uvixi that went bust, really. Um, I rolled them to the 9.5 strike December 16th, 2022 uh, expiry. Uh, underwater, about 27% right now, 27.3%. Um, uh, but I am holding on. I'm holding on. Um, because a captain goes down with his ship and my conviction is still high that the fireworks are not over yet. Um, so there's, there's a lot of bearishness that's been, um, kind of spat on today. So I'm going to play devil's advocate and look at some things that could be possibly negative and potentially, jeopardize what we're looking at here so yes i do see that um the 200 day uh the, the s p 500 stocks above the 200 day moving average has followed my trend from um early november so it's followed that and it's uh surpassed it and you know i, I would be fine with it going further you know because i assure you i am overwhelmingly positioned bullish but i that's the whole reason why I have this VIX, Uvixi trade on with the 9.5 strikes for December 16th is because the fireworks are all going to be happening for the 4th, the 5th, and the 9th of December. Um, uh, so I'm really holding that as just protection against my longs so that if, if things go haywire, I can have some dry gunpowder on those days. So anyways... Um, you can see this is starting to look a little bit. It, it looks a little bit too hopeful right now, and if if, it, if it's going to track my um, higher high, higher low, higher high, um, it's it's due for a check back. And if we look even closer and look at the 50 day, that doesn't look too too hot right there. It looks like a double top forming. Um, so we're right at about 93% of the S and P 500 stocks above the 50 day. Um, so the, this tracks with this um and then the, the 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 scary thing about the vix is most of the time when it's popped off it's not until the week after when you see this the stotch rsi cross so you know that's that once again that puts us out puts us out towards the end of december and i might roll even further who knows especially if um Mike Wilson is thinking that we're going to get to 3,000 or 3.3K, 3 3,300 on the S&P 500 in the first um, four months of the year. Um, this could be a good trade to keep rolling or, or something like that. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. Um, S&P 500 for the first time in a long time um, since actually um, April 7th, by, by my eye, I... Um, zoomed in there and you can you can see the last time it closed above was april 7th and it never was able to close above it again since then um but now we're back and you know what that means because normally when it when it breaks above you are likely to see some continuation especially after su such a long period of time it's been you know how, how long has it been seven months or almost eight months since then um um yeah so a lot of good things on the tape i'm not even gonna touch uh sbf and the whole ftx thing with that interview today um oil's holding strong i've already covered that enough amazon reported their best black friday ever so what recession um, people are spending Netflix huge gap 292.80 was an important level broke past that St still got this giant gap Tesla I, this is what I saw earlier just a 
total hypothesis, just throwing it out there, not even really believing it, to be honest. Well, well, believing it, but not putting too much weight on it, you know, even though I did size up my Tesla exposure um, the other day via, you know, if you follow me on Twitter, I tweeted it. But um, yeah, Amazon, this looks like it's going to fill. This looks like it's going to fill on Netflix. Um, so I up my Amazon exposure, I up, up my Tesla exposure. Netflix has caught my eye. I didn't play it today. I wanted to, but I I don't know. I didn't, I didn't want to FOMO into it. So I might see if there's continuation tomorrow. So um, there's there's two sides to the coin. My wallet is on the side of bullishness, and my brain is mixed. Um, I uh, I I see both sides of the coin, but you don't know which way it's going to flip, especially with all these things up in the air right now with geopolitical stuff, China, Russia, blah, 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 you know it. But back again, really need to work on my outros and not getting lost in thought at the end of me wrapping up my videos with me uh, rambling. <laughs> but uh, anyways, this week is not over yet by any means, and um, the volatility will continue, I assure you. Um, core PCE comes out. Continuing job, jobless claims, initial jobless claims, um, um, more Fed speak, lots of other stuff happening, non-farm payrolls, unemployment rate, all that stuff coming out this week. And then, uh, like I've mentioned before, OPEC Plus meeting December 4th, December 5th, uh, EU sanctions, December 9th, I know is something, but I can't come up with it. And um, I know I didn't go over the beige book today, but I'm too tired and had honestly too awesome of a day to care right now. I'm just going to send it with this video. I should do a reshoot, but I really don't care. Yep, let's go.